Welcome to Northside 101, where Northside experts explain complex medical terms and procedures. Today's expert is Dr. Sir. Hi, my name is Dr. Malini D. Sir, and I'm a cancer surgeon at Northside Hospital. I'm here today to welcome you to Northside 101, and I'm talking today about something called hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy, otherwise known as HIPEC. HIPEC is a surgical treatment where trained cancer surgeons will infuse chemotherapy into the abdomen and pelvis while a patient is asleep under general anesthesia, and it's done to treat tumors that have spread to the lining of the abdomen or the pelvis or to the surfaces of other organs. It's typically done in combination with complete surgical removal of all tumors in the abdomen that are visible to the naked eye. On the day of the procedure, the patient um, you know, will meet with the whole perioperative team and then they'll be taken into the operating room and put to sleep under general anesthesia by the anesthesiologist. Oftentimes they have to have some extra lines and tubing for monitoring. And we make an incision in the middle of the abdomen up and down. And the first step is again confirming by exploring the abdomen and pelvis that it's appropriate to continue the operation. Uh, making sure that the disease is limited to areas that we can remove surgically. Next, we proceed to uh, remove surgically all the disease that can be seen with the naked eye. That might include having to take out other organs, for example, portions of intestine or portions of liver, portions of the diaphragm, the spleen, you know, portions of uh, lymph nodes and other organs um, that are in the abdomen and pelvis area. After that, we have a perfusion team that joins us in the operating room, and we have two different catheters, an inflow and outflow catheter, where the chemotherapy is delivered into the abdomen and where it comes out of. So actually, we have to temporarily close the abdomen so that the chemo can circulate in there. And typically, our regimen is for about 90 minutes. So there's about 90 minutes of operating room time where the patient is just asleep, getting the chemotherapy circulating through their abdomen and pelvis area. And when that's done, we go ahead and open up uh, the skin, take out the catheters, and then we go ahead and look at the belly again and make sure everything looks good. If there's any um, organs or structures that need to be connected, for example, intestines, then we'll do those connections after the chemotherapy at that time. And then we'll go ahead and close the abdomen and wake the patient up. So, Dr. Sir, who is the ideal patient for HIPEC? HIPEC is best for patients who have tumors that arise from the appendix or patients who have a rare form of cancer called peritoneal mesothelioma. We do know that there are select patients with colorectal cancer and ovarian cancer that also can benefit. Is HIPEC a one-time treatment? Yeah, so HIPEC actually can be done several times. However, every time you go back into the abdomen, uh, there can be increased risks of surgery. So it's important that you talk to your surgeon about the risks and benefits of multiple HIPEC procedures. Who shouldn't receive HIPEC treatment? In terms of patients that should not get HIPEC, number one, patients who are frail or older who have other medical problems, they're not usually gonna be good candidates for this procedure just because it's a major operation and um, we're really looking for patients who are robust at baseline to be able to tolerate the surgery well. The second thing is that we look at what type of tumor do they have because um, we wanna make sure that this is a type of tumor that we have some experience with um, in our literature, our scientific literature that supports the use of HIPEC for that tumor type. Lastly, we wanna look at the extent of disease. So patients who have um, tumors that have spread to other parts of the body outside the abdomen or pelvis, for example, the chest, um, they're not gonna be good candidates for this procedure because we're really focused on clearing the abdomen of tumor and treating the abdomen with uh, chemotherapy. Additionally, patients who have tumor that's in the abdomen but in areas that are hard to remove surgically, um, they're not gonna necessarily do well with HIPEC treatment. So once again, I'm Dr. Sir. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Northside 101. Um, please feel free to add any questions or concerns in the comments below. And of course, to share this widely with your friends and family. Until your next Northside 101, stay safe and informed.